Hey everyone, this is Rochelle. Thanks for clicking on my video. And I came in today to talk about Jackie Christie and her daughters Chantel and Takari. Now, I don't know if you guys heard about it, but her daughters were going in on each other on Instagram here recently. Now, with just a little background here, so we can come up to speed with, you know, the dynamics in this family. We all know that Jackie has two daughters. She has the lighter skin, pretty daughter, the one that she has on Basketball Wives with her. And then she also has an older daughter uh, by the name of Takari, who is the darker one and the one that we all as fans believe that Jackie really doesn't have any place in her life for because she thinks this daughter is not as pretty as the other one. And then Takari came out years ago with the story about Jackie not raising her and having been raised by her grandmother and how Jackie, you know, once she met Doug Christie, pretty much stowed her away at the grandmother's house while she went on and lived the privileged life with Doug and started having kids by Doug. But we'll get back to that. So here recently, Takari, the darker daughter, wished the lighter skinned daughter, Chantel, happy birthday on Instagram. Basically, she said in her post, you know, I know we may not see each other that often, we may not speak that often, but I love you. You're my sister and I love you. Well, for some reason, Chantel, the lighter daughter, took offense to Takari coming on to Instagram and wishing her happy birthday through that way. So basically she told her, you know, you could have texted me, called me or some other way to wish me happy birthday. Thank you. But what I'm saying is that you are seeking attention by doing it, you know, on social media. So they went back and forth. You know, um, with the lighter skinned daughter telling the darker one, you know, you need to apologize for some of the things that you've said and done over the past, you know, when it comes to our mother. She also said that, uh, you know, I hope you don't expect me to hate our mom forever, you know, just because you do. But y'all, when I think about the family dynamic here, Jackie created this. Now, we know a few years ago, Takari came out and she told us a story about her life that we didn't know when it came to Jackie. She said, basically, Jackie took her to live with her grandmother and her grandmother actually raised her while Jackie went off and married Doug Christie and, you know, lived the privileged basketball life, you know, having his children and enjoying all the trappings of being married to a wealthy basketball player. But in the meantime, Takari says that her and her grandmother lived basically with the scraps that Jackie, you know, deemed to, to throw their way every so often. She says that her life and the life of Jackie's other children were in stark contrast. They were over there living this privileged life, living in mansions and all of that, while her and her grandmother, you know, kind of lived, uh, from what Takari says, a uh, maybe not poor, but certainly not the type of life that Jackie was living. Now, Takari burst on the scene again a couple years ago when her son was burned at daycare. And how we really heard about this incident is because Evelyn, when Takari put up a GoFundMe to help with household expenses and just the cost of taking her son back and forth to doctors to be treated for, you know, his burns, Evelyn and a couple other uh, folks put up money to that GoFundMe. Now, when the basketball wife season started, Jackie was mad at Evelyn for doing that. She said Evelyn only did it to be messy. And in the past couple seasons, we have seen them go back and forth 
with Evelyn saying, you know, I wasn't doing it to be messy. Your daughter put up a post. I wanted to help. It was purely from, you know, just being helpful. Now, we don't know if it was maybe a little bit of both. You know, Evelyn maybe wanted to be seen in a good light with helping Jackie's daughter. And also, too, her heart probably did go out to that baby because if you saw the pictures of the baby, he was burned pretty badly. And any mother who has a heart to see another woman suffering, you know, with her child being burned, you would want to help out also. But Jackie was upset with Evelyn about, you know, just as she says, stepping in and interfering in a relationship between her and her daughter. But see, that's just it. Takari tells us that while on the one hand, Jackie acts like she has a relationship with her, she really doesn't. And over the years, those two have had troubles. Now, when I first heard the story and, you know, read everything that Takari, the darker skinned daughter, said about her mother, it made me see Jackie Christie in a totally different light. Jackie made a difference in her children. Um, and that's, as a mother, one of the worst things that you can do. Takari lived with that grandmother. Takari also has, I believe, a speech impediment. And she wasn't perfect in Jackie's eyes. So when Jackie stole her away with that grandmother, she did go on and lived that basketball wives lifestyle and kind of forgot about Takari. But what happens in most situations like this is that child grows up and then they start to be able to speak out and tell their feelings about what was going on with them when they felt like their mother didn't care about them anymore or didn't care period now we know that a lot of the stuff that takari says about her mother is true because the other daughter chantelle is the one that told us originally that jackie made a difference in them uh jackie's um uh, daughter chantelle told us that when they were younger uh takari was a little chubby and jackie used to make her run on a treadmill um she would basically tell her that she was the the fat black ugly one and we heard all of this y'all from Chantel and for a couple of seasons we saw Chantel defend her sister and here recently with this recent post we see that Chantel is no longer in that mode of defending her sister and confirming you know the things that her sister says about jackie basically from chantelle's post you get the impression that she wants her sister takari the darker one to just get over it you know stop talking about it you know you said what you had to say you heard our mother and you need to let it go now but that is not her right to tell takari how to feel about what she went through because when takari was away living with that grandmother y'all can you imagine what was going through her head when she knows that she would go visit her mother and walk into a mansion and you know pools and privilege and beautiful cars and and all of that and her and her grandmother were living this simple simplistic life you know jackie not really providing for them in the manner to which jackie was living and then not only that but as a child when you realize that your mother doesn't seem to love you as much as she loves and is proud of her other children how do you guys think that made her feel as jackie's child and then when all of this came out, Jackie did not have really an answer for what Takari says occurred. 
You know, she says that Takari has problems. Takari is this. Takari is that. But Jackie never really takes responsibility for her role in this. Jackie set the stage for how this girl turned out by not being there for her not being there physically. Now, I'm sure that those years that Jackie's mother took care of her child, Jackie probably probably did give her mother money, but it probably wasn't to the magnitude that the grandmother actually needed, and it definitely wasn't to the magnitude that her and Doug, what, you know, that they were living. So that made that daughter, Takari, feel some kind of way. And I, as a mother can't understand how Jackie can make a difference in her children like that. You know, when you do that, you set that child up, the one who is not the favored one, to get into their feelings, to harbor resentment against you. And that's exactly what behavior Takari is exhibiting. She resents her mother for pushing her out of her life and now that she's an adult where as a child she didn't have a voice she really couldn't speak up now she does she's an adult there's this platform called instagram facebook social media and she can say what she wants to say now she can hurt jackie the way she felt like jackie hurt her and it's odd to me that Jackie doesn't actually address what the girl is saying. You know, she says that she's always been there for her daughter and she's always taking care of Takari. Well, Takari sings a different story, you know? And the fact that we don't see Takari on the show, the fact that the lighter skin pretty daughter did say that the mother was negligent when it came to her sister those are all facts you know jackie didn't want this bone this skeleton of takari to fall out of her closet when takari started speaking up can y'all imagine how pissed jackie was <clears throat> To have this daughter spilling all of her secrets, Jackie wants us to see her in one light as this privileged basketball wife. But what we realized when Takari started speaking up is that Jackie has some skeletons in her closet. And y'all, as a mother, I do not see, I do not understand how you can make a difference in your children. I just don't understand that, y'all. And I don't understand why Jackie she can't get it through her head that it's not for Takari to make things right. It's for Jackie, too. And you know what? Maybe it's gone too far. Maybe Takari has been hurt so many years that she simply cannot find forgiveness in her heart for her mother. Or... It's going to take longer. And I don't think with the behavior and that the denials that Jackie, you know, constantly does is helping the situation. And then even to the stuff with Evelyn, it's misdirected anger. Jackie is not so much mad at Evelyn as she is mad at Takari for putting her on blast. Evelyn was just an easier target. Jackie knows that if she blasts Takari the way that she really wants to publicly, that if she thought that the public turned against her, to, to see her blast that poor unfortunate daughter after the incident with her son, the public will totally turn against her with that. Because after... I read all of the stuff that Takari said about Jackie, y'all. I already thought Jackie was crazy. But after I read that, I said, you know what? This bitch is not only crazy, but she had issues. Because any mother who's worth her, her salt 
would do everything in her power to mend that relationship with this daughter that you say that you claim that you love you know i remember watching uh an interview jackie did and she tried to you know do it in a nice way cloak it in nicety but she spent the the major part of that interview talking negatively about takari you know she is on a campaign to clear her own name not to address what the actual issue is you were negligent when it came to your older child jackie you know when you can admit as a parent mistakes that you've made that shows that you've grown i've told y'all in several videos that sometimes i look at my kids and uh now that they're adults and i see things or behaviors that i don't like and i say you know what did i miss a lesson did i was it something that i didn't teach them that i should have taught them as their parent i take responsibility for my role in who they are today now jackie is proud to take you know responsibility for the beauty of chantelle and how chantelle you know um is on basketball wives with her and you know she had a little storyline and you know she has a baby now which jackie just showers with love but when takari's son was burned they say jackie didn't even go see the baby and i don't even know if jackie has seen that baby since all of that happened jackie needs to come clean not only with takari but with herself like i said when you can admit that you made a mistake i think that if jackie sat down and had a heart to heart conversation with takari where takari can clearly see that her mother is trying to make amends and is trying to work on the relationship and is being genuine i think that will go a long way with takari but i believe that takari knows that jackie is only saying certain things because she knows that her image took a beating when people started finding out all of the stuff that she did or didn't do as it pertained to her daughter takari i think the situation is sad i really do and i think that jackie ought to be ashamed of herself and I also believe that karma is a bitch. The very daughter that Jackie has put so much stock in, that probably will be the one that hurts her in the end. And Takari, the one who, you know, she really didn't pay that much attention to, will probably be the one that is there for Jackie when Jackie gets old and needs her children, you know? This is a sad situation, y'all. It's a complicated family issue. It's something that you hate to see because mothers and daughters should be close. And I know that when Takari's son was burned like that and, you know, she didn't know what the future held as far as her baby was concerned, I know she had to wish that she could call her mother and cry and you know have her mother tell her that everything was going to be okay that the baby was going to be all right i know that you know and when i think about this whole situation and i just think about jackie y'all to me jackie is full of shit she is really full of shit and the more this girl speaks out the darker quote unquote ugly daughter the 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 matter jackie's gonna be and you know what i don't fault takari for speaking out jackie when she was younger you weren't there for her and all she's doing is speaking her truth now you may see it a little different but you if you have if there's validity in what you feel jackie can we not believe that takari 
there's some validity in the things that she says. I don't 100% believe anything that comes out of Jackie's mouth because this girl has been telling the same story for years now, co-signed by the lighter, pretty daughter, Chantel. If this was all a lie, why did Chantel bring this up? Y'all know in season two, Chantel is the one that told us that Jackie was not good to her oldest child, Takari. Chantel told us that. You remember they had a sit down with a therapist. Basically, Chantel did the majority of the talking while Takari just sat there. We didn't know what was going on when we really watched that episode back then. But Jackie, Chantel, and Takari knew, you know, the skeletons that they had in their closet. Y'all, even to this recent incident where Takari is reaching out to her sister Chantel, I believe that the reason why Chantel came so hard is because she's back living with her mother. And right now she enjoys the spotlight just like her mother does. You know, being on Basketball Wives, you know, living that privileged life. And maybe she doesn't want to cross Jackie at this point. Maybe that's what it is. So the best way to, to not cross her is to side with Jackie when it comes to Takari. Y'all, I, I feel sorry for Takari because this relationship that she does or does not have with her mother, this has got to haunt her. And it's gonna plague her for the rest of her life. When you are a child who felt neglected by your parent, the mother, the one that's supposed to love you above every other person on earth. That is something that has to be difficult to live with. As you watch your mother pay more attention to your sister's baby, to make over, you know, how beautiful the sister is and, you know, her daughter and all of that. When you know that your mother also has other grandchildren, which are your children, who Jackie never brings on the show. I've never even seen Jackie's other grandchildren hadn't Takari posted pictures. And Jackie has cute grandchildren. Y'all, this whole situation, it's just really sad. It is really sad. And to have her two daughters going at this like i said when i first started the video jackie set the stage for what we're seeing now jackie made a difference in those kids and that difference has manifested itself over these years and until jackie works this out to jackie makes this right this is going to continue y'all because until she has made peace with Takari. There is not going to be peace in that family. And y'all know this to be true. Think about your own families when there's drama going on. You know, before you can get through it, before you can get over what is going on, you got to deal with the drama first. And Jackie has to quit acting like she did nothing wrong and admit her role and her negligence of her daughter. Y'all... It's a sad situation. I want to know what you guys think of it. Did you hear about the the little feud that Jackie's daughters had? And whose side are you on? Do you think Takari just needs to get over it? You know, you know, your, your mother didn't care about you growing up. She definitely doesn't care about you now that you're speaking out about what she did and didn't do for you, um, you know, when you were a little kid. Or do you see that Takari is well within her right to feel some type of way? And until Jackie sits down with her honestly and openly and tries to mend their broken relationship, that this is not going to work. That Takari has to be healed before she can forgive. That's how I look at it, y'all. This young woman has a lot of years of being hurt, 
of being forgotten, of being ignored, of being told that she's not pretty, she's not perfect, she's not this, she's not that. And all of this was done by the woman who was supposed to love her. Do you feel that until there is some mending done, that like Takari, you would feel some type of way about your mother and the relationship that your mother has with your sister, something that you never enjoy? Let me know how y'all feel. Because I just feel as a mother myself, I could not do this to my kids. I have a boy and a girl, and there are times when each one of them gets on my nerves, but I love them both. And I don't put one over the other. I could not put that pain in my child's heart. And my kids are adults, y'all, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Let me know down in the comments how you feel about this. Tell me whose side you're on. Are you on Chantel's side? Shut up talking about it. Or are you on Takari's side? Until I get a real apology, until I can really believe that my mom is sorry for what she's done, I'm going to keep on talking about it. Let me know down in the comment section, y'all. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.